structure of plant and animal cell. The activities of life processes take place in the cells. A typical cell consists of these parts. 1. Cell membrane 2. Cytoplasm 3. Nucleus Cell membrane or plasma membrane It is a thin, transparent and flexible living membrane which forms the outer boundary of the cell. It surrounds the protoplasm. Cytoplasm and nucleus together constitute the protoplasm. And it is composed of lipids, fatty molecules and proteins. Functions 1. It is semi-permeable membrane. That is, permits only those substances to pass through that are needed by the cytoplasm. 2. It protects the cell. 3. It gives definite shape to the cell. Cell wall. In plant cells, an additional wall called cell wall is present which surrounds the cell membrane. It is a non-living layer made up of cellulose. Cell wall gives shape and rigidity to the cell and protects the protoplasm. Cytoplasm It is the part of the protoplasm present between the plasma membrane and nucleus. It is a colorless and transparent fluid inside the cell membrane. All the vital functions of life take place in the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm contains many tiny structures called cell organelles. Cell organelles The main cell organelles present in the cytoplasm are mitochondria. They may be spherical, oval or rod shaped. They are present in animal as well as plant cells and are responsible for the synthesis and storage of energy released by the oxidation of food. They are also called powerhouse of the cell. The mitochondria are bounded by a double layer membrane. The inner membrane is infolded to form many projections, which are called cristae. Inside the mitochondria, there is a hollow cavity called mitochondrial chamber. Functions Their function is to generate and store energy. Golgi body They occur near the nucleus of the cell and consists of stacks of thread-like thin membranes of variable shapes and sizes. Functions They are involved in the cell secretion. Plastids They occur only in plant cells and are of different colors. Plants use them for storage and manufacturing of food material. They are of three types. 1. Chloroplasts They are green chlorophyll pigments which are mainly found in the leaves and green part of the stem. It helps in the synthesis of food through the process of photosynthesis. They are also called kitchen of the cell. 2. Leucoplasts they are colorless plastids and found in the storage organs, example, potato, onion. 3. Chromoplasts These are colored plastids other than green plastids. The color of the flowers and fruits are due to chromoplast. Functions of plastids Their main function is to manufacture and storage of food. Endoplasmic reticulum these are interconnected hollow canals found between nucleus and cell wall. The walls of endoplasmic reticulum may be smooth or rough. Functions They help in transporting the material through cytoplasm. Rough-surfaced endoplasmic reticulum is involved in protein synthesis. Vacuole These are balloons-like empty structures which are present mostly in plant cells. They contain dissolved materials like sugar, salt and organic acids. The fluid is called cell sap. These are temporary, small-sized in animal cells, while plant cells has a permanent, single, large central vacuole and surrounded by a living semi-permeable membrane called tonoplast. Functions they act like 
reservoirs of secretory and excretory materials and help in water storage within the cells. Centrosome They are star-shaped bodies present in pairs near the nucleus and are found only in animal cells. Each consists of two dot-like bodies called centrioles. Functions They help in cell division. Ribosome The rough-surfaced endoplasmic reticulum contains some granular structures which are spherical in shape called ribosomes. Functions Their main function is protein synthesis in the cell. Lysosome They occur only in animal cells and have sac-like structures. They contain some digestive enzymes. Functions Lysosomes provide defense against bacteria and viruses and also help in digestion. So they are called digestive bags. Nucleus In the cell, there is a spherical body called nucleus which is the most important and acts as the director. Nucleus controls all the vital activities of the cell. A cell without nucleus is considered to be dead and is not capable of growth and cell division. It consists of these parts. 1. Nuclear Membrane The membrane which separates the nucleus from cytoplasm. It has certain pores which allows the exchange of materials between nucleus and cytoplasm. 2. Nucleoplasm It is the transparent fluid filled inside the nucleus. 3. Nucleolus Small spherical naked without membrane structures found inside the nucleus. It contains ribonucleic acid, RNA. 4. Chromosomes they are thread-like structures and consist of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA and proteins. They bear genes that carry and transfer hereditary characters from one generation to the next. Functions of Nucleus Nucleus is the controlling center of the cell. It contains hereditary material called genes. Genes transfer the characters from one generation to the next. Nucleus also plays a significant role in growth and cell division.